Good afternoon. For those of you who are new, I am Dr. Bedlam, and in today's briefing, we will be discussing SCP-2006-J. There isn't any objectionable material in this document, so let's begin. Item number, SCP-2006-J. Object class, Keter. Special Containment Procedures. SCP-2006-J is detained in a hermetically sealed and triple reinforced biological containment cell at Site 138-Delta. Any maintenance of this cell is to be performed via automated means. Personnel are strictly forbidden from entering the 100-meter, addendum, 200-meter radius red zone around the cell, except during experimentation. Experimentation or communication with SCP-2006-J-1 may only be performed with prior permission from the Site-138-Delta Site Director, must be directly overseen by at least two Level 3 senior researchers, and may not exceed 20 minutes in duration. Any personnel admitted to the red zone of SCP-2006-J must undergo mandatory psychiatric screening afterwards and personnel exhibiting unusual behavior or psychological trauma must be administered an amnestic of at least Class B strength and transferred or terminated as seen fit by oversight staff. Once per month, one Class D personnel slated for termination is to be delivered into SCP-2006-J's chambers for punishment. There is no conclusive evidence that SCP-2006-J requires food, water, oxygen, or sustenance of any kind. But the introduction of this containment procedure has reduced containment breach incidents by 99%. Description SCP-2006-J is a sentient, sapient entity of possible extraterrestrial or extradimensional origin that causes catastrophic psychological damage to human subjects that observe it directly. Physical descriptions from test subjects exposed to SCP-2006-J-1 are inconclusive, but such subjects consistently describe a mass of writhing tentacles adorned with serpentine eyes. SCP-2006-J-1 is capable of telepathic communication with human subjects within 75 meters, which has allowed for research staff to interview the entity. However, this can also cause severe psychological damage and or brain hemorrhage in subjects exposed for more than 30 minutes. SCP-2006-J-1 claims to be female, but this claim cannot be corroborated at this time. Upon initial recovery, SCP-2006-J-1 was in possession of SCP-2006-J-2 and SCP-2006-J-3. These are, respectively, a hand-sewn article of clothing resembling a short white and pink dress made from lace-lined silk, sized for SCP-2006-J-1 and a crudely crafted artifact resembling a baton or wand, adorned with a crescent moon and a rough-cut ruby. While neither object has exhibited any anomalous properties, they appear to have significant sentimental value to SCP-2006-J-1, as it will become highly agitated and attempt to breach containment if these objects are confiscated or otherwise taken from them. Bio-5 Council orders, these are to be left in possession of SCP-2006-J-1 until further notice. SCP-2006-J was discovered in and recovered from an underground cavern in Redacted, Texas, following an incident in which a group of civilian explorers inadvertently came in contact with the entity while traversing an unexplored cave network. All surviving civilians were administered Class A amnestics and provided a cover story involving a cave collapse resulting in multiple deaths. SCP-2006-J was recovered along with a large collection of non-anomalous video DVDs, which have been contained separately in a secure storage area. SCP-2006-J-1 has not requested their return, claiming that it has already committed their contents to heart. Addendum 2006-J-01 Interview Log As all interview responses from SCP-2006-J-1 are received telepathically, they are result of transcription, cross-reference, 
and verification by three separate staff members as part of interview protocols. The following is an interview between Dr. and SCP-2006-J. Please state your name for the record. I am daughter of and the warrior princess of the data expunged. I see. And what is your purpose? I transform into Data Expunged to fight crime in the name of Data Expunged. I... Wait, what? Transform? What do you mean? I'm not supposed to show my transformation to normal people, but because I trust you, I will let you see. Wait, no. Data Expunged. Princess Power Transform! It is unclear what happened next. However, all surviving personnel at Site-138-Delta, within approximately 200 meters of SCP-2006-J, reported seeing a brilliant flash of bright red or pink light, despite not having direct line of sight to SCP-2006-J-1. Six personnel were killed by massive brain hemorrhages, 38 were permanently blinded, and Drs. Kinamoto and Tsukino were heard exclaiming, so cute, in Japanese before vaporizing into clouds of pastel-colored dust. Doctor recovered fully after three months of hospitalization for neurological trauma. Addendum 2006-J-02 Interview Log So, would you care to explain why you requested D-Class personnel? I cannot be a crime-fighting warrior princess if I do not have any criminals to fight. These creatures you call Class Ds are criminals, are they not? I suppose? What exactly is a warrior princess? I showed you last time. Would you like to see my transformation again? No. Uh, I mean, no. Not at this time. I'll see what I can do. Arigato! Sensei? Addendum. 2006-J-03 Containment Surveillance Log Transcript Prior to experiment, all personnel were evacuated a distance of at least 250 meters. D-1993, slated for termination, was then introduced to SCP-2006-J's containment cell. The following is an interview between D-1993 and SCP-2006-J. Lock me up and he- Holy shit. What is that thing? Aha! I have caught you red-handed, criminal scum! Let me out of here! Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! In the name of- Data expunged. I will punish you! Data expunged. Princess power transform! Forensic analysis concluded that after its transformation, SCP-2006-J-1, then pointed SCP-2006-J-3 at D-1993, and exclaimed, Data expunged. Upon which a beam of light was emitted from SCP-2006-J-3 and Data expunged. Researcher note, Jesus Christ, no one deserves that, not even a D-class. Signed, Doctor. Thank you for listening. Site42 Studios and its staff are funded by viewers like you. Please become a patron or visit our merch store at the link in our bio to support our work. Secure. Contain. Protect. <laughs>